You've got to tune to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. We're streaming live video on KEXP's Facebook page now. We've got our good friend Kyle Kraft in studio. Welcome. Good to be here. You have a huge band with you today. Oh, yeah. This is exciting. I am so excited to hear songs. The new album called Full Circle Nightmare comes out this Friday on Sub Pop Records. And let's hear something from that. You fell in love And it wasn't with me Hey, that's fine It's about time I let go But whatever curse You put here in me Well, could you lift it, babe? the heap of fool's gold You were a jet plane I was a parachute failing I was the cheap end when you were the centerfold But then my son said hard on Carolina Where she howled about Six string fingers ran the length of some boy's body. In younger dreams, I thought that body might be mine. You were a cobra, I was a heartbreak jumping. Now you're a mother. A wasteland, you've got all your milk and honey. And back then I swore you were the only one. So this is him and babe, I've been dying to know how did you look it out, stay gone, make me not wanna go back to the girl I had before. You were so sweet, baby, so sweet. So 
Wildcraft live on KEXP. That sounds fantastic live. We've been playing that song Heartbreak Junkie for a little while now. It's out on the brand new album Full Circle Nightmare. It comes out this Friday. I have goosebumps hearing that live. That sounds Thank fantastic. You. What's next? Uh, Fever Dream Girl. Just want to say real quick, we're streaming live video of this on KEXP's Facebook page if you want to see this fantastic band. songs from the new album Full Circle Nightmare. It comes out this Friday on Sub Pop Records. Tomorrow he's playing at the Tractor Tavern here in Seattle. And on release day you'll be in your hometown of Portland. That'll be fun. Oh yeah. Or the place you're hanging your hat these days anyway. Yeah, trying to. L literally, you always look great in a hat. Um, it's so great to have you here and uh, it's hard to believe it's just been a couple years since the release of Dolls of Highland and what a journey you've been on. I know. It's been a it's been a good one. Kind of so a dif difference in the way you recorded this new record. It's so great. It, we love it so much. So powerful. Thank we you. also love Dolls of Highland. You, if I'm not mistaken, that was kind of a DIY recording. You did that recording of that in like a laundry room or a bathroom. Absolutely, in yeah. Shreveport. Yeah, it was a laundry room. Played most of your own instruments. And uh, Brandon and Benjamin in the Helio sequence helped you mix it. It was a beautiful album, but you got to play with a lot more toys on this record. Tell me about it. Yeah, well... Uh, it it was different, you know, it was a little strange because I've always done the whole DIY thing and it was a little weird to, like, let go the reins. But, uh, but I enjoyed it. It was really nice working with, uh, I mean, the band, of course, but the Chris was especially nice, too, you know. He was, he kind of, like, just let us do our thing. Like, we went into the room a lot like this and, well, a lot smaller, but uh, went in and just hit record and went for it, you know. 
That's Chris Funk of the Decemberists. He's a studio in Portland. Was that the first time that you recorded like that in a studio and with a band? Yeah, absolutely. I'd always wanted to do it. We were actually the first band to ever record in that studio. So. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it was great. It was, it was fun. I don't know if we'll ever do it again. <laughs> but it was fun. Do you, it was great. do you write the songs in the studio? I mean, how do they go from your head to what we're hearing on the record? Because this is a big, powerful release. Typically, I, I'll demo them out and then bring them to the band and we'll kind of put them together, you know. And uh, that one, we, we kind of put them together in our, in our rehearsal space and just, uh, you know, jammed them for, for a month or so. And then, right? Is that right? Yeah. And then just got in there. So it was pretty quick. It was a, it was very fast paced. We got in and like I said, it was just like hit record, you know, and went for it. There wasn't a lot of things that changed uh, between, you know, be between the rehearsal space and, and what actually happened in the, in the studio. This album is called First Circle Nightmare, and I read somewhere that it is autobiographical and in every possible way. Is that the case? That, or? Yeah, that's pretty accurate, I would say. Tell me yeah. about the songs. A bit, but, I mean, Dolls of Island was kind of like that, too, you know? I think that's just how I write. Um, yeah, I would feel like I was, like, cheating uh, myself and other people if I wrote about, you know... Yeah, I don't know, John Henry or something. <laughs> so it's just your life and you're living it. Yeah. You did a really fun project called Girl Crazy. It came out at the end of last year. Tell me about how that came about. Uh, that was actually me and me and Kevin over there on piano. We, we were, um, I went in one day just randomly. I was like, ah, I'm bored. I'm going to go record a Jenny Lewis song, uh, that acid tongue song. And, uh, and so we went in. And I just did that, knocked that out in a day. And then the next day I was like, oh, I want to do a Patti Smith song. So I went in and did that. And then I like approached Kevin and I was just like, what if we did like an entire, you know, like made a big list of, you know, female artists to, to cover and, and, and just went for it. And so we, our goal was like 10 or something like that. And within what, like a few Probably within a week or so, we had 10, and, and we were like, oh, well, let's keep going. And so we just made a slew of them, you know. And there was, there was some funny ones in there, and there was uh, some really good, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. But it was all just for fun. We didn't even in, intend for that to be out in the world. We were just doing it for fun. So we, we sent it over to Sip Pop, and they were like, this is actually pretty good. Like, why don't we do something with it? And I was like, all right. It is super fun. I'm shares on there, TLC. You really pick some really great songs. I love to hear that you're having fun. What is your favorite part about making music? Probably recording, you know. I really like being in there and doing that. Um, it's that either that or the, or just, you know, when you finally write that last line and you're like, oh, there it is. That's a song that you pulled out of thin air and it exists now. Uh, I think maybe... Maybe that this is a really close race, I think. Yeah, it's clear that you love performing. Introduce this fantastic band. Well, this is Haven on the drums. Billy over here on the bass. <laughs> Our good friend Ian on the conga. Andy on the berry sax. Uh, the famous Ben Steinmetz on organ. <clears throat> Kevin Clark on the piano. And... Uh, my, my pal, Jeremy, here on the lead guitar. Yeah. We're live in the KEXP studios with Kyle Crav tomorrow night playing at the Tractor Tavern here in Seattle and a beautiful new album, Full Circle Nightmare, coming out on Sub Pop this Friday. Love to hear some more.
she knows what I like to see And she knows how to bring about A shattered heart that don't belong to me Now this one's a rager And all the cute girls hate her And all the boys run terrified From a powder white toe Who she they ask me As she stumbles past Different names depending where she goes. But I still don't know which one's real. She lets me hang around and watch her deal. Cause she knows where a man gets weak. Yes, she leaves him with a low cut dress. Yes, she knows what I like to see. The victims walk in. Search and destroy for the player of the playboy, for the walking apocalypse and the hill she staggers on. She courts the shadows, she swings about the gallows. Rope to rope, she gets her thrill and lays awake at dawn. But who can live that way this long? Seen someone like you burning holes in your four post bed, passed out with your knees all bruised, your sleeping hand holding a cigarette. And your head never hurt so bad. Thinking of the fun you had, what on earth did we do? Love that one. Kyle Kraft live on KEXP, streaming live video on KEXP's Facebook page. Tomorrow night they play at the tractor here in Seattle. Thank you so much. The song's called Exile Rag.
on KEXP. Thank you all so much. Thank you. you sound yeah. fantastic. Thanks for having us again. It's always great we'll to have you. come back anytime. All right, well. The coffee's great. We'll always have you. It seems like we hung out a lot in the last couple of years. We thank you for our, your generosity in playing things like our mural show. Oh, yeah. It's always fun to see you live. You can see Kyle at the tractor this tomorrow. What's <laughs> tonight? Thursday. This, this tomorrow. This tomorrow and Friday, the new album. Full this time tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, probably not this time tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, playing at the Tractor Tavern and on Friday at the Doug Fur in Portland and Full Circle Nightmare coming out this Friday out on Sub Pop Records. Again, thank you all so much. So great. Thank you you thank sound you. fantastic. Yeah, sure. yeah. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.